So today we're going to simulate a VLAN hopping attack, and we're doing this by setting up a rogue trunk port. This is also called switch spoofing. So what we have here is a topology with two switches connected to each other, and a victim at one end and an attacker in another end. And the victim is in a separate VLAN from the attacker. So to perform this switch spoofing attack, well, first we can go into the switch and see that the interfaces connected between them are configured as trunk ports. And that is something we configured. Next, we will use Kali Linux and go into Yersinia with Yersinia-G. And then once we're in Yersinia, we click Launch Attack. And then we go to the DTP tab for trunking. And then we set it to Enable Trunking. And what this does is that um, the attacker will ne automatically negotiate trunking with the ports on the switch connected to it. So if we go to the switch again and we look at the trunk interfaces again, you can see that suddenly we have two trunk ports instead of just one trunk port from before, and that was automatically negotiated. And now we can, that on the attacker using Wireshark, we can hop into the victim VLAN. For example, we can capture the ARP packets that should have stayed in the victim VLAN, and we can see them actually through the attacker. So we've success successfully captured packets from the victim by hopping to their VLAN. Now to mitigate this, it's actually quite straightforward. We go into um, the port that's not the configured trunk port and we configure it as an access port. And then what we do is we type in switch port non-negotiate. And what this does is that the port will not automatically negotiate a trunk port. Now if we look at it again, we only have one trunk port. If we go back into the attacker PC, we can clear the Wireshark packets and try to capture ARP packets again from the victim, but as you can see, there are no more ARP packets we captured from the victim VLAN and we have successfully mitigated the VLAN hopping attack.